real-time data means when you are delivering uh, data insights to users and customers as they happen. You're processing events to just continuously crunch numbers and provide online insights. Let's think about some household examples. We all use Google Maps, right? And Google Maps gives us updates about traffic, about lots of different things. That makes us able to take better decisions based on the knowledge that we have available. So how is that done? Using real-time data. Other examples would be ATMs, fraud detection, customer service. Why? Because we want to be have up to the minute, up to the second information to help us make better decisions. If you're talking to folks that do more kind of embedded hardware, that might be something that's you know, millisecond uh, real, real time, whereas kind of a lot of the you know, analytics business insights can be you know, within a couple of minutes, that still might be real time. It's really challenging to deal with. There's a lot of data coming from a lot of systems. We're generating more data than we ever have before. And we're trying to do analytics on it to make smart decisions, usually business decisions or product decisions. And so every company is becoming a data company. So how is it done? With different technologies that use real-time data, differentiated from batch processing. Batch processing means I collect a bunch of data, I wait, and then I send it over. Real-time data, as it suggests, is moving in real time. My PhD was actually focusing on real-time data. In that case, we needed to have a real-time data connection for human brain images. If you are doing real-time data with algorithms sitting on top, you have to be really focused around finding efficient ways to process signals in real time and to know exactly which of those signals you're going to prioritize because there's a weight trade-off between what it is that you can track, hold, store, and evaluate in that really, really short time period and the outcome that you're intending to receive. So it's a really interesting space to be in if you want to look at algorithmic efficiency specifically. The main thing is understanding that it helps us make better decisions by having better information in real time.